Hi, this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles, and we buy and sell stuff for our two antique booths in the two antique malls that we're in. Plaza Antiques in Lincoln Park, Michigan, and Maumee Antiques in Maumee, Ohio. And today is Woodhaven and Gibraltar Citywide Sale. So we are on our way. Um, I have a friend who's a dealer also, and she's already been in Gibraltar. She said there's only three sales, but she was there awfully early. So I don't know what we're going to find today. Um, the city whites have been much skimpier than normal this fall, and I'm not quite sure why. If it has something to do with the economy or what's going on. But anyway, so we're going to drive around and see what we can find. We're off to a good start. Look at these two big ones right here. Let's check it out. So I didn't get anything there, not for a lack of not having nice things. They had beautiful things, but they had a store, and um, the store went out of business, so they were wanting half off their retail, which isn't bad for yourself, but for me, I couldn't make a profit in any of those things. So that was a bit of a bummer, because they had some really nice things, and seasonal stuff, and African art, you just don't see that kind of stuff. That's kind of cool. So uh, I see a sign up here, so let's check it, this one out and see if we can do any better. So we got four sales right here all together, so uh, hopefully we can find something out of one of them. I think I'm going to start back here and move my way forward. Well, this is just one of the things that I got from that last uh, little cluster of three sales, and I got a bunch of other stuff in the back. But they sure did give me the spider webs, so I'll be cleaning that. But a nice cabinet for $10. Check out this Halloween display. <laughs> Here's a big one right here. Let's check this one out. This is the stuff I just got at that sale. I got this little this lady figurine for only 50 cents. Wow. And then that's a home co figure. And look at this cool box made out of all these polished natural stones for a dollar. And then I got these some pepper shakers for a dollar. So so far so good. Let's keep going. Let's stop at this one. Check out that big tall skeleton. How cool is that? So we got a little bit of jewelry for a dollar a piece. I got a couple of rings and a couple of pins in there. So stay tuned to the end so you can see all the goodies I got. Check out this one and see what they got. So check out all this jewelry I got for $50. We will go over this in our second video of the Woodhaven Citywide Sale. So make sure you tune in for that one. So that last one was super cool. They had really neat stuff, but, uh, oh, here's another big one down here. Oh no, that's a Halloween display. Never mind. <laughs> but um, they had used a lot of antiques, I think for a wedding or something. And so they were priced pretty high. So we had a pass on those items, even though they were super cool. And I see one down here. So let's go check this one out. They're just all over randomly. You never know with these citywide sales what you're gonna find. Yep, here's one right here. So I got all kinds of stuff at that last sale. I got a nice big carnival bowl and jewelry and a bunch of little tchotchkes. So I did good there. So let's keep going. Here's a decent one right here. Let's go check this one out. So check out what I got. I got all these little people for $1.50. They were four for 50 cents. What a deal. Check out this Halloween display. I probably could do a whole video on just Halloween displays. People are really go crazy around here with really neat Halloween displays. Check out this one. And here's another one with a giant jack skeleton. So now we're going to go check out Gibraltar. They have citywide sales. Um, there was quite a few of them over in Woodhaven, especially since they don't officially start till tomorrow. So uh, we did we did really good. So we're going to head on over to Gibraltar. Now I had a friend that was there real early in the morning. She said there was only three sales, but she was there like at 8 o'clock. So I think it was just too early for people. So we're going to give it a try. We might be disappointed, but we'll see what happens. So come on along with us to Gibraltar. So here we are heading into Gibraltar, Michigan. Now Gibraltar is kind of south of Detroit. It's kind of borders the Detroit River, Lake Erie area, and there's lots of little canals and stuff in here where people have houses and their boats and whatnot. So it's kind of a cool little town. So uh, hopefully we find more than three garage sales, but we'll see. So my friend might be right. There might not be any more than three sales here, and I can't even find the three sales she was talking about. So I don't know. This might be a total waste of time um, for today. I've been down here before when there's been quite a few of them, and 
done quite well, but um, this has been a weird year for garage sales. You just never know who's going to participate and who's not. So uh, let me just turn around here and uh, get out of this neighborhood. There was a sign for one down here, but I am not finding it. Finally found one. So let's check it out. So we didn't get anything at that last sale. Gibraltar was a bust for us. I didn't see anything. I only saw one sale. I saw a few signs, but they seemed to not lead anywhere. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just not familiar enough with the area. But regardless, we're going to head back. So let's see all the stuff we got. Here's all, all the items that I got and the Woodhaven Citywide Sale. This is the first day. Um, I don't know, know if I'm going to go back the second day or not, but I did pretty good, mainly in the jewelry departments. But let's see what the other things that we got. So we got this little cabinet for $10. That's probably worth about $30. This is cute. It's a reproduction. Wow, how cute is that for 4 bucks? I'm sure I can get, I bet I can get 20 out of it. It's even got the original tags on it, which I think I've even got to that company and bought some wholesale stuff in the past this little van here was four dollars i'm sure i can triple my money on that that's new and that picture i just love it it's going in my house i got all these little people four for 50 cents and they're worth a couple bucks a piece but i am going to keep some of those too so let's move over to this table i got this little sign here for a buck newer same with the chicken for two dollars Probably between uh, probably five dollars for the sign and ten for the chicken. This lady figurine is beautiful. I think she was two. I'm sure I can get ten to fifteen on her. Here's a very nice carnival bowl, and I only paid two dollars for it. I'm not sure what that's worth. I would think between twenty and thirty, but I'll have to do a little research on that. I got salt and pepper shakers for a dollar. I got that set there. And the wind is kind of playing havoc with me and I got those Santa's there and those trees there and they're probably worth about five a piece here's a nice piece of Fenton I paid a dollar for that's probably worth about ten dollars and a really cute little penguin figurine there I paid a dollar for probably worth seven or eight and same with this this whale here I paid a dollar probably worth seven or eight this box here is pretty cool it's made out of these polished stones I paid a dollar I'm sure I can get ten dollars out of that what's going over here so we got a brass dolphin thing I paid a dollar for I'm thinking between 10 and 15 here's some kitty planters I paid a dollar for probably around seven these little three pumpkins here I paid a dollar for all three I'll probably get a buck a piece out of those they're just cute and I'm doing a fall show here so I thought they'd look good with that stuff and this little planter here with the car I paid a dollar for, I probably can get between five and seven. Now down here, I did get some Legos. I've had some people request that over in my Molly Me Antique Mall. So hopefully it's all pretty much complete. It looked like it was. I only paid two dollars. I could probably get between ten and fifteen on there, but I need to count the pieces and see if it's complete or not. And then this little thing here needs some new lights. But I only paid two for it, and I'm sure I can get $20. So that's all of the bigger items that I got at the Woodhaven Citywide Sales. Now, Gibraltar ended up being a bust for me, and I didn't get anything there. So this was all from Woodhaven. So this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles saying goodbye and see you again.